We've all experienced it. You tie your shoelaces, you go for a walk, and somehow, right away, your shoelaces become untied. Mm -hmm. Well, now researchers at UC, UC Berkeley, they say they found out why it happens. The question may sound simple, but they have spent more than two years considering the factors. So here's what some of these uh, mechanical engineers did. A series of experiments. They threw their colleagues on a treadmill. They watched in slow motion and they actually broke it down to this is physics. So when you run, your foot actually hits the ground at a force that's seven times harder than gravity. And all of that impact, it actually makes the laces stretch and then relax. And then you couple that with the action of your legs swinging, and those are the inertial forces that untie your shoes. So same thing as if you were just to pull it, but it happens because as it hits, it's kind of Kind relaxing. of the whipping back and forth yeah. of the leg pulls on the laces. This whole story makes me like want to check to I make know. sure my shoe <laughs> good? Okay, we're still you're tied down there. You're good. This happens to me, right? So my uh, shoes become untied. Your shoelaces become just, untied? Just like the subject, I'm just like you. Famous television celebrity Jason right. Barasha? That's right. Oh, you're a loafers man. I don't have special laces <laughs> for famous people. <laughs> <laughs> so you wonder though, you're like, yeah. okay, come on. Especially like if you have dress shoes that have like those kind of waxy. Yeah. Uh, those are the worst. So you just tie it and then you go for a walk and you're like, I just tied it. Like what is happening? And if you have kids, like this is one of the most annoying things about your kids. So you're you watching your kids play soccer. Right, you're like, they don't know how to tie their shoes, haven't we? Dumb you? kids. Come on. Well, apparently we've been using kind of the wrong knot the whole time. Like this knot was not, this knot is not, there's a lot of knots happening right now. Are you going to get it out? <laughs> <laughs> like now my tongue's in knots. <laughs> <laughs> it's not meant for shoes. Like this isn't what this should be for. It this needs to be a, a square knot. knot yeah. A weak knot. It's a weak knot. We need a stronger no. knot. Either. What is this knot called? The one that we do with the. Okay, so that's the granny knot. The granny knot. <laughs> or the bunny ears. Okay. Uh, there's also the loop, swoop, and pull that mm -hmm. you might do. Do as that well. was yeah. Kylie's band in college. Yeah. Yeah. Swoop and they had a couple of hits. Uh, but both of those are not good knots. They eventually fall apart. They're so not good knots? They're not good knots. So what they tell you to do is a square knot, which you might like do. You can't on a do boat. a square knot well, on your shoes. You look like an idiot. I think we all need to either go loafers or Velcro. No. I think that's the only no. way to avoid these, this. Laces these engineers, good. they spent two years studying this. And by the way, they said, oh, maybe this can relate to DNA as a way to like yeah, justify sure. all maybe, this time spent. Maybe it could cure cancer. They too. never looked at double knotting. Not once. That's it? Not once they looked at double knotting. Mm. Could have um, saved you a lot yeah. of time and Well, money. there's time to get another grant and then go back and do more <laughs> research. Great. Berkeley, think of the nonsense they're researching yeah, out there. This is more important than most. Just I go look at those banana slugs. So weird. <laughs>